Sunday afternoon, we're headed out to, I don't know, for some Sunday gallivanting and adventures. And we stopped here at Burger King on post and because uh, it was convenient, we're on our way out and everyone's hungry, but we're gonna try the Burger King taco. I feel like it's a little strange to get a taco from Burger King, but we're gonna try it. I don't know if I'm excited or scared for this taco, but we're gonna see if it's any good. I got a veggie burger though. I'm eating a veggie burger. The kids are having chicken fries. And um, I just wanted to try the taco. It's a dollar. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like you can't really mess up a taco, but when it's not from a taco restaurant, it's kind of a little iffy, so we'll see. Starving. All right, sorry guys, bear with us with the Daniel Tiger playing in the background. That's the only way to keep the kids happy during a road trip. So this is my veggie burger. Um, by the way, if you've never had a Burger King veggie burger, it is so, so good. I recommend it 120 times. Um, it's, it's really good. Um, so this is it. Here's chicken fries for Amy, but this is what the taco looks like. So it comes in like a little sleeve like this, and there it is. All right, sorry, the AC is kicking. It's like 200 degrees out today, not literally, but here we go. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's not like the most amazing taco ever, but not bad. It just tastes like a standard taco. I will say the shell is a little greasy on the greasy side. So, but the taco itself isn't bad. Okay, so I will say this in comparison to like Taco Bell or something, I feel like you can eat this one handed and it doesn't really fall apart because I've been eating this one handed this whole time. Whereas Taco Bell like never fails, the tacos always fall apart. The stuff always comes out in a wrapper because it's usually just quickly thrown together, sloppily wrapped. Um, so I do like the sleeve that it comes in a little taco sleeve, so that's a bonus. And it has like its own little seasoning. It doesn't taste like every other taco. It's kind of like Burger King put a spin on it. So it's really not bad. Um, it's only a dollar, so go out there, go get a Burger King taco. Give it a go. Not bad. I actually enjoyed that more than I thought I would. Burger King tacos, I guess, from me. Um, it's kind of my cheat meal. I've been back on my fitness regimen and I've been eating super clean all the week, so I hope I don't feel sick after this, but I um, kind of wanted to try it with my veggie burger. I don't have any fries or anything, so. Um, so that's what I got. But anyway, we're headed to the next, the Navy, Navy or Naval Exchange. So as you guys know, we're an Army family. We live on base in coastal Virginia. And we're headed to one of the largest Navy installations over in Norfolk. The Navy, Norfolk, ba Norfolk Navy base. <laughs> I don't know why I can't talk today. Norfolk Navy base. We're headed over there. They their exchange is amazing. I went in for the very first time a couple weeks ago and was completely blown away. And so we're gonna go back today to look at a few things. And I thought we would bring you guys along. Okay, I 
feel better. I was really shaky from all the coffee I had this morning. I had like four cups. It was the Starbucks morning Joe. I made it at home. That'll wake you up. So if you're looking for a strong coffee, try the Starbucks morning Joe. the traffic in that last clip that was going the opposite direction that is the traffic leaving Virginia Beach so I just have a helpful little tidbit as a Virginian myself years of going to the beach those are all people vacationing at Virginia Beach leaving the beach on a Sunday so my tip is if you do vacation at Virginia Beach in the summertime it's like the absolute worst virginia beach is fun all year round there's plenty to do even in the winter time but if you come in the summer it's going to be super crowded the traffic gets backed up because of the tunnel and there's only two lanes in the tunnel so that's usually why because the lane goes from like four lanes to two and the tunnel it's slower traffic but the tip is to um if you're going to come to virginia beach don't leave on a friday to go back home and don't leave on a sunday to go back home if you do leave on a sunday to go back home leave later in the day like Sunday evening because there'll be less traffic and the locals too trying to get around so like us we're trying to like get to different things but I would leave on an alternate day just don't leave to go back home from the beach on a Friday not don't, no time of day on a Friday is good but if you're gonna leave on a Sunday leave either a super early in the morning to go back home or Sunday night but if you can avoid Fridays or Sundays leaving the beach Saturdays aren't too bad but just avoid Fridays and Sundays period and you'll be good. Okay, we're here. It literally probably only took us maybe, I don't even wanna say that was a full 20 minutes to get here, but just to show you guys. This, we're on the Navy base right now, which is called the Nex. So we're Army, we have a PX, the Post Exchange, because we live on Army Post. I think a lot of people get confused when they say base, post, stuff like that so a navy has a base an army has a post but i mean either or is acceptable base or post okay will just corrected me and he said navy is what is it a station yeah, camps post and stations. camps post and stations marine is camp right yeah. yes camp like camp lejeune and navy has a station and army has a post but behold guys the next this is amazing like the px is nothing compared to this this whole thing this whole big building that looks like a huge car dealership or car plant or something is the shopping <laughs> this whole thing so i think this is the you said this is the commissary oh well it's connected to the commissary wait no this whole thing is still the exchange but the commissary is behind us Ooh, I already saw Kinder spot off the bat. Alright. Look at all the makeup. There's some upstairs too. This place is like Home Depot, a Target, <laughs> an Nordstrom, Bed Bath and Beyond, all in one. This place is huge. I'm gonna go look at handbags. This is um. I'll take you some hundred dollar bills. That's ridiculous. <laughs> so it's 
some baby stuff. So they've got some Bob's rollers here. Oh, here's another sit and stand. I think that's baby trend though. It's a pretty good, uh, Gosh, this is huge. This store is like, it goes on forever. Okay, okay, okay. All of the snacks. Okay. 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 What do you think, Pace? Okay. Want a new car seat today? You're outgrowing that bright tax quickly. Yay. Okay. Yay. More snacks? Say okay, more, please. Can you share? Sure, how to share. All right, we move to the cart. They're happier. They have the Epa Baby. What is this? The Cruise or the Vista? Yeah. No, this is the Vista. This turns into a double. That one's the Cruise. This is the Epa Baby Vista. This is the Epa Baby Vista. And I'm pushing an empty stroller. They're just way happier. They're way happier in the cart. So. I don't know, we're just here looking around and seeing what kind of sales they have. Will did tell me I can have a new Louis Vuitton for my birthday. So, I think I just shocked him with the prices. And those were just the PX prices of the few models of Louis Vuittons they have available here. Come on. are over here. Look at this nice camera equipment. I think it is. Should we let them out in color at the coloring station? So this is the one that they did have. That's the one they did have. Oh, this one? Yeah. yeah. How much is this is, I got this one from Amazon. It's the same thing as that one in your hand, but it's, I think it was like a dollar cheaper on Amazon, actually. Okay. All right. All right, I do need some. Wow, they have like all of their stuff. Usually I use the Cantu for kids for them, but I think that might be in the kids section. But I do need some more shampoo and conditioner, and I use the Chi brand, but I use the Keratin. Oh, they have the It's a Tan and stuff is good. Oh, they have Moroccan oil. Oh, stuff is amazing. I have only been able to find it at, well, of course, Amazon, but from um, Ulta or Sephora, but they actually have it here because obviously this is a larger station so they have everything okay so i got a few things this is my cart we're looking for headphones actually for paisley some noise canceling because she does start covering her ears a lot when there's a lot of noise and a lot of different things going on so. oh yeah she seems to be enjoying those beats headphones i was just thinking of a cheap repair but i guess we'll wait for the beats Right here. All right, I had to come over to the Disney section because I just want to see what they've got. I was here before, but I really didn't have time to look when I was here a couple weeks ago in the Disney section, but it looks like they've got a good amount of stuff. Actually, some pajamas for the girls would be neat. Um, yeah, you can come get some Disney merchandise. So that's pretty cool. Some of the same stuff they actually sell at Disney or the Disney store, but it's just a smaller version. All right, I'm gonna change Avery's diaper and look for a bathroom, which 
Auntie Anne smells good. All right, let's go. No, I'm saying a bag. How's it done there? <laughs> In the search for the bathroom, well, one of them's closed. Maybe we'll try upstairs. But I do need a new elliptical. Oh, man. Sit down. Sit down. You cannot just jump off. Ooh, we're in the elevator. So we're going up to the second floor. I'm not even sure what's up here. But we need to find a bathroom to change Avery. And we're going to check out the second floor. All right, let me go first. And then you can go. Okay, we found the bathroom as soon as we got off the elevator. So let's change you. I don't know what that noise is, but starting out. Ooh, toys, Avery. Ooh, I love that pergola. Okay. Found the garden center outdoors. Avery's excited to run around. Let's go find Dad and Pays. Maybe look at some pool toys. A Yeti cooler sounds good. Come on. American Girl doll. I wonder if they've got a bigger selection of American Girls. They do. Ooh, Avery, look. <laughs> Come on, back up. Beep, beep, beep. She's trying to back into that. Here. No, I put the brake on so you can't mess with it. Wow, look at all the American Girl dolls. Look at this, Avery. Wow, you're really trying. Over to the kids section. Look what I found. It's the Ritzy Mini Black and it's the Ritzy in uh, the Black Hearing Bone Boss and then the um, the Heather and Brown. It's so cute. Okay, they have more It's Ritzy over here. Okay, we're done with the PX and we are over here on base. I don't even know where we are. That's the Naval Station Chapel right there. Um, they have so many different gates to their base. It's huge. Over here in Norfolk, I think it's one of the largest Navy installations in the U.S. Um, we have gone to the Navy Hospital, um, the pediatrics department before, and their hospital alone is amazingly huge. Is, what is that water like the old water system steam it's what steam pipes. steam pipes so horrendous looking <laughs> like thank god people came to their senses and did things in new ways because that just looks mm, not even not even cute i don't know it just looks like we're I don't even know. I can't even explain it. It just doesn't look good. All right, so they've got some Navy ships down here. Up here. That is a huge ship. Ship number 41 over there. That is, wow. There's number 50. And vessel number 74. I don't know what any of that stands for, so I'm just here to provide the entertainment. <laughs> Navy Museum here in Norfolk and they actually have uh, I think boat tours you can tour the the ships or maybe they have ship tours I'm not sure but USS Whitney USS what? Whitney I can't read that USS up there I don't know what it says <laughs> Feels like it's a thousand degrees. I mean, the AC is. This is the next fleet store. Look at how big 
Brothers. We just saw this kid out running, and I'm like, does he have a death wish or something? Because there is no reason for anybody to be running in this heat if you only knew how hot it was right now. The Ocean Giant from Houston, Texas. Cool. That is pretty huge. Mm. The Fleet Logistics Center. This is what this is like. Welcome to the service. Service to the fleet. Oh yeah, that's the tour boat out there. And if you go on the Spirit of Norfolk um, lunch or dinner cruise, they kind of take you on like this little, kind of like a mini type tour. I mean, you don't really go inside the vessels, but you know, they sail past them and you kind of get a little guided tour. But the reason we came here earlier and not later, so we could go to the beach is because the next closes early. I think they close at like four. So you kind of have to come early. And then just kind of hang out with the Wendy's. Um, but they did have quite a bit. We enjoyed our little jaunt. I'll have to show you guys what we got when we get home. Oh, hold on. We're a little cloudy there. Okay, that's better. That was a, I don't know, catering center. But here we are, a waterfront. Is that the hospital over there? Over that that building across the water, right there, the Navy Hospital. Okay. Helicopter. I feel like that's it's hard to tell from where we are. So the Norfolk Navy Hospital is actually in Portsmouth. Oh wait, no, just kidding. That's Fort Monroe. That's Hampton. That's Fort Monroe. That's where we just came from. So literally, Norfolk is right across the bridge from us. And this is, yeah, that's the bridge. <laughs> All right, maybe it just seems closer today. Normally I feel like it's, maybe I just feel like it's farther over here. The sailing center, you can rent boats, I guess. Cool. Fleet right is deploy forces support. I guess that's the same thing as uh, FRG, the Family Readiness Group. I assume, I don't know. There's sometimes different terminology, different branches of the military have. Although it's the gist is the same, it's just different terminology. So I always try to make sure it's uh, the same before I actually say it is. That's pretty. Look at that housing. Oh my gosh, do you guys see? Can you imagine if you live there? I wonder what rank that is. Oh, yeah, I guess that gets loud. But look, but look at how pretty that is. Just look at how pretty that porch is. I would live next to that just for that view. Those trees. Wow, that's nice. Okay. Will said the <laughs> the noise from the ospreys would be entirely too loud, but hey, I mean it's a beautiful view. We're just riding around. I don't know. We're trying to devise a plan. What we're gonna do with the rest of the afternoon? The beach does sound nice, although it's just really really hot right now. And going to Paisley's favorite pizza place at Virginia Beach, uh, Doughboy's Pizza. It's also a good idea, but it's also July, which means a ton of people are here from out of town in the summer. People just flock to Virginia Beach. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we will do. Just watching. No. All right. Say bye, Navy Station. I always have to say Navy Base. So, this is the backside of the, the neck. I almost said the PX, but the neck. But it reminds me of a car plant. I don't know why. When you're kind of coming around this corner from the opposite direction. I'm not sure why. Okay, heading back across the bridge. It's just too hot for Virginia Beach today. 
but look at that. Her car seat is filthy, but she just has chocolate on her mouth. She had some M&Ms, and Paisley is back here hanging out. Hey, Paisley. Yeah, watching him fight her. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my nail color. So when I got my mani pedi yesterday, I went for this color, which I'm actually not sure of the name, or I can't remember the brand, but it is definitely something different. You guys know I'm more of like a nude color, just basic white, soft pinks. You know, I just kind of like it simple. I don't really do colors, especially bright colors, but I just thought it was pretty. It's different. It's summertime. So I know. Okay, now we're back on this side of the water again. And look at the traffic building up, <laughs> heading towards the beach. Luckily, we kind of keep missing the, the traffic, but um, I think now we're gonna go look at some RVs because Avery's asleep, so I don't want to disturb her. I just want to let her nap on the go, and we're just gonna drive around. Uh, we've got plenty of gas just filled up, and the AC is going, so it's nice and cool in here. I think we're just gonna go uh, look, look at RVs. Um, and that traffic is going on for miles. That sucks to be in traffic. It's the worst. <laughs> okay, I think we're just gonna like hop on all the military bases today. So now we are at the Langley Air Force Base. We're gonna go look at their sale lot that they've got going on here. But people are reselling their RVs. All right, welcome to Langley Air Force Base. So, if you guys did not know. If you did not know where we live, it is a joint base. So it's a joint army and air force base. So it's, um, the gates are manned by the air force, but it's an army base, but it's a shared base. But it's funny because a lot of all of them, this is a, just a large military area. Anyway, in coastal Virginia, you've got a lot of different bases, a lot of different branches of military. So they're just kind of all intertwined together on every different base we've got. Coast Guard, Marines, Air Force, Army, we're just all together, Navy. Everyone just kind of all together sometimes on a base. So I don't know if I've ever taken you guys or filmed inside of the PX here, but here on Langley is a really large PX and I really, really enjoy coming over here because I feel like they have a larger selection, better variety sometimes of, uh, things not every base is the same I think a lot of people make the assumption oh they're all the same no they're all very very different and they can vary in sizes and the stores that they actually have inside and the merchandise so I don't think they're all the same I think my mom said that one day and I just kind of I don't think I laughed I scoffed I was like no they're not all the same they're very very different so um but yeah this one is a good one and we spot the RV line so we're just right around. So there's the PX and commissary up there, but here is the resale lot. So they have a lot of these uh, resale lots on pretty much every base, but it's a place where you can park your things that you're trying to sell, such as boats and RVs and cars even. Alright, so we're gonna see what they've come up. I kinda wanna go to the, the dealership too today, even though Avery's sleeping, but it's actually easier to do it this way. I think we definitely want a large class A at some point in time, but I think a good starter <sighs> trailer or class B is a good idea, but all of these are trailers. The problem is we have nothing to tow this with. The towing capacity in this van is only like 3,600 pounds. So that's, yeah, these are unfortunately not an option and it doesn't seem like they have any smaller trailers, so. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> The sun is burning. Okay, look at this little thing. Will's like, here we go. We could totally pull this. Oh my God, they went $18,000 for this. This thing is so tiny. I mean, this is good if you're just like one person just needing somewhere to camp out. I can't fit two kids in here. Obviously I know that, but look at that. It's kind of cool. It looks like a little pod. I mean, <laughs> We could definitely tow that, but yeah, like I said, we need something huge. This is, looks pretty cool, but again, we don't have a truck. I tried to convince Will before when we moved here when he sold his uh, Max. So when we moved here, Will sold his 
Nissan Altima because A, we just needed something bigger than a sedan, even though we already have a van. I drive the van and he drives the sedan, but it sat parked for a month because we live on post and he was riding his bike to work. So he's like, there's no point in keeping it. And you know, turns out we did need another car. So he bought a Jetta station wagon and that just, I don't know. I feel like it was kind of a mistake. I told him today he should sell it because we can't tow anything. It would have been better to get a, like a larger SUV with a third row or something, something we could tow. Obviously we can't, we don't have anything to tow this large of a, a trailer this is huge by the way but it would be nice just to have the option I don't know kind of like a Jeep commander yeah we definitely want to have a class a at some point I mean if we find one for a good deal now oh my god I, I would have to learn how to drive this for sure uh, this thing is huge but I mean yeah there's no looking inside because Got some slide outs on the side, but it looks huge. It will accommodate our family. Even if we grow larger, well, we will at some point, but this is nice, but um, it's probably outside of our price range at the moment, I'm sure. Um, I don't know. These tend to have a heftier price tag, so I told Will I think we should definitely maybe get a starter RV, something that could accommodate us right now and we can just save over the years for something larger. This is perfect because as your kids grow, um, even when they're teenagers, plenty of space for everybody. And it looks like up there, this is probably like a little bunking area, I would assume so. That's the reason they probably have two windows over top of one another. This is probably a bunk, I think. Um, it's probably the sleeping, like a bedroom over here. Um, but yeah, maybe we'll just go look at a dealership. Can't you see us with this right here? If only we had something to tow it with. This is a good size. So yeah, this is a bunk. I can tell Yeah, This is definitely a bunking area, um, which is awesome for children. So that would be really, really nice. It's got an awning, but again, we have nothing to pull it with, nothing to tow it with. Here's that cute little trailer. Uh, that would be nice, but oh. Wow, it stinks. Which one's the new one they never used? The Imagine? How much do you think that Class A is? The Class A is the big bus looking RV. That thing. Let's look at the price on those. Just so we know. Okay. Okay, I didn't want to show you guys the price tag because it has uh, personal information, like a phone number, although, I mean, it's posted for people to see, but this is a 2019 Grand Design model 2250 RK, $28,000. It has rear kitchen, fireplace, queen bed, two recliner couch, new, never used, something. Um, it says they bought it and then got orders. So they PCS'd or yeah, PCS'd or maybe had to go overseas or something. I would assume overseas since it is here. I'm not sure, but <sighs> unfortunately we can't even, none of these are an option. There's just nothing to, to tow these with. So, oh well. Okay, we're back home on Eustis, and so it's 4.50, they're about to, they're prepping for the retreat of the colors, um, so, which they're gonna take down the flag, and 
uh, fire the cannon. Just keep getting. Okay. I don't know why that keeps getting blurry. So okay. I decided to cut us off. So we're we're back where we live and this is the sad little resale lot but it's something I mean it's the resale lot for you know reselling things so this is actually our neighbors RV here um, this is a class B Gemini Mercedes chassis RV van and we kind of like that but they just um, I don't know I'm not sure about the Sizing. I, I really would need to see inside. I guess we could ask just for a tour, but we're gonna look for options. But I think we're gonna go home now. <laughs> no, I will not. Okay, guys, we're back home now, and I just wanted to show you guys a few things. Oh no, our little flower bed fell. So this is the girls' new, kind of new, not really new, playhouse. It's made of just the styrofoam puzzle material. And okay, I'm just trying to put together. <laughs> A little flower bed but yeah this is the girls little playhouse it's cool because you can take this outdoors indoors if you so choose to actually take it apart and take it with you it is perfect for on the go if you travel if you're going somewhere for a little bit but yesterday we had a neighborhood yard sale and we bought this off of our neighbors for five dollars the girls would not leave it alone it's super cute um yeah so our house is a little bit messy because um, and then our neighbor gave us this cute little Sophia the First ukulele for the girls. But yeah, so excuse the mess, but the pile of clothes it was given to us by neighbors for Avery. We actually did pick up this Sophia the First uh, folding table and chairs, which I was looking for this exact one. I know that they have like Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse and Peppa Pig and other things, but because they love Sophia the First so much, I had been looking for that. It's been out of stock everywhere but I found it at this consignment sale this week so this has been like the week of finding good things but I'm just gonna show you guys uh, quickly what we got from the next okay there's nowhere to really like go film this because the kids are everywhere upstairs so I guess I'll just pull everything out of the bag and then I will go through everything oh my god I can't get this out go through everything in detail it's just the house is a mess so tomorrow I'm gonna be spending organizing okay so we honestly no thank you we honestly did not pick up that much because I mean we weren't really looking for anything today in particular just with the exception of some toiletry things but I did pick up some Nivea intense healing lotion this was like a dollar off um just making it like for something so I picked up two bottles I got some of this Design Essentials. Um, this is an intense shine oil mist for my hair. I have used the Design Essentials products in the past, um, so I know those are good, so I wanted to try this oil. I picked up the Everyone Face Toner. You guys know I love, I'm a big advocate for the Everyone Soap, uh, the Everyone Body Soap, Everyone Lotion, the Everyone Hand Soap. So I thought I would just try this. It's an uplifting toner with pure rose water and essential oils. Um, so yeah, right now I've been using the, um, body shop vitamin E facial line, facial skincare line. So, um, wanted to try this and, um, I picked up love beauty and plan. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite deodorant. It is a natural deodorant. So it's plant-based. Um, so of course no aluminum and any of that harsh, um, chemical stuff in it, but this smells really good. I was actually surprised to see that they sold method at the next i thought it was a solely a target product um and it was the target brand which it is but they did have this at the next which i did need some more um glass and surface cleaner and then i picked up this itsy ritzy um teething toy for my friend she said she wanted the lemon tea i couldn't remember but she is excited for the pineapple um this is a teether teething toy so I picked this up for her little boy and I will mail that to them tomorrow. But then um, other than the goldfish, here was our other big purchase. Paisley got some headphones. These are the uh, Skull Candy uh, noise canceling headphones and they were on sale. So these were like $50. But, you know, she's been covering her ears a lot when in, in loud places. So um, we figured she could benefit from these. So, yeah, we're excited to... Uh, for Paisley to use renewed help. Okay, just kidding. Will just said these were $37. Got the girls' dinner here, by the way. This is Avery's dinner chicken nuggets, mac and cheese, some organic mac and cheese, and grapes. Paisley, of course, is having her bagel bites and grapes. But yeah, these were 
$37 because they were half off. So that is everything we got at the next today. All right, guys, I think that's gonna do it for today's vlog. I know I haven't signed off in a long time. It feels like I've just kind of done like a music fade out in the last few videos. So this feels kind of good and familiar to go ahead and sign off. But thank you so much for coming along with us today. It was just a simple, random Sunday vlog, family day. We were just out and about. Um, we're about to give the girls some dinner and then I'm contemplating possibly taking just Paisley over to Bush Gardens for some just her and I time like we like to do because we've got another full week of therapies coming up and Paisley's gone all day. So I feel guilty a lot of the times that Avery does get the the one-on-one -on -one time with me all day and gets to do things and be a part of things. So I'm gonna go spend some time with Paisley, probably Bush Gardens at the beach or something after dinner. Um, but I will see you guys in my next video. Please give this a thumbs up if you liked it and want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss a beat. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.